viewers, welcome to yet another edition of our program. I am your humble presenter, Milton Mundi. I remember I work for Mumimbi channel. Please, in today's tutorial, we'll be learning on how to record, how to uh, create the journals that we're doing to using to carry out all possible recordings in this software. Remember, this is a software we are still in the phase of preparing it for for usage in the business. How to create journals in this software. The purchase journal, the sales journal, the balance sheet journal, the card journal, the bank journal, the general journal, all the possible journals that you could think of them that are being used in accounting, in performing recording uh, process. Please, so in order to create them, I still go to the options, to the menu structure. I move down the list of options that display and I take on journal code. In the new window that appears, I right click inside and I take on add new elements. In this new, in, in the new destination where you find yourself, you will be given a form to fill or to guide you on how to to create the journals. When you have journal type, that all the journals that you are supposed to create by default that are there, one, two, three, four, five, six, the purchase, the sale journal, all the rest, you have them there. So how do I use them? The, 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 I want to create a purchase journal, for example, which is already highlighted. I move a label quote. A little code, the system requires me to enter a code that it will be used to represent my journal in when I will need it to for usage. Please, I want to stress emphasis at this stage. The code here is not an account number. It's not an account number. It's a letter word. Code must be at least, in fact, it has a maximum of three digit. Three digit. Please, in, in so many cases, it's really advisable for students and for users of this program to put a code that they can easily retain because in your subsequent needs when you need a journal it is the code that they're going to suggest to you to make a choice based on what you understand so the code of project journal for me for example you may choose just where you are is to write click on I write pch to represent purchase for me pch and a label of name i enter purchase journal purchase journal and i go to next i click there twice it appears on this window as purchase journal. I move again over here. I press and hold. I say on the second one, which is sales. I'm about to create a sales journal. I label a quote. I will think about any three letter word to represent this sales journal. I will choose to write SLG to represent sales journal for me. SLG. You may choose SLA, SLB. As, a, as anything, it is actually an optional section, but what is important for you to understand as a student, as a lecturer, as a, a, an expert who want to, as a professional want to master the, the software way in order to get a job in an enterprise, is that as this section, you have the, the award and not an account number. Many people have been making a lot of mistakes by using an account number there, which is not true. It, it stress the software a lot and it give it a, a memory that is it, 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 it like kind of confuse the, the software memory. So I did a little code, please. It is letters, words are not account number. So the code has been given. I move now to name. I write the sales journal. And I move to the this section. I take on on next. I click there twice. You see, voila! It moved now to the window and recorded as the quote and the sales journal name. That I enter all the two enter together. But when I need it, it, that this quote remember that will be given to me. And then I move over again here. I say the third one which is cash. At this section now, I'm going to create. I'll use this particular section tw twice. The quote now. I'm going to create the card journal and the bank journal. In the case of French people, so to those of you that may work in French companies, you notice that they have up to eight different journals. But by default, if you look here, please, if you look here, by default, I'm having five. One, if you look at by default, there are five, then one, two, three, four, five. Voila. So, by default, there are five journals in this software. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the, that the maximum number of journals that you could actually create. This is a dynamic software, a software of international standard. It has a lot for those who, have, who understand and master it. They know they can do great exploit in it. So, I'm going to create two journal level of catch. I'll create a bank journal and a cash journal. If I was in the French company, I'm going to create the cash debit journal. I'll create a cash credit journal. So that anything that goes out should be credited in that journal. Anything that comes in the in cash debit, anything that comes in the form of liquid banknotes or cash should enter in the cash debit. I'm going to create also a bank debit journal. 
so that any transaction that we, we do, that money has to come in, in the form of a, a, a check. I will record it, that check, in my bank debit journal. I'm going to create also a bank credit journal so that any transaction we do, they'll have to pay or say to the, the partner concerned with the check. I'm going to record that one in bank credit journal. However, that is a French system. But for us, vis a vis the exam and the, the English speaking companies, we have six. And then the card journal, I just need to create my uh, my bank journal and my card journal. So that's actually what I'm going to do here, which is actually also what is required of you in the HND exam. At this stage now, let me start with the bank journal, right? I'll create a BNK. That's my code. I think on tab key, I live on now, right? The bank journal. And I move to next. One, two. I move to next just once. They'll stop me here. If I, if I force it in front, this message will appear. This message says cash account. Entry mandatory. I take on OK. I move in this section here where I have cash account. I press in this drop down arrow to project me my chart of account database. And then I select 521 that I had created before. Now you start seeing why I said there were some key account that I always have to create, you put them before another thing because you, you always need them. After I'm done, I come in this first option here that for country entries for payment recorded. I click on it. I move this second to the last one which is contract account. I click on it as well. And I take on next. In this message that appears, I take on yes, I go to next, and voila, this, uh, this is it that is fully created, and yeah, you get it there. I press here again to create my number bank journal. I take on cash against you, I move to code, I write there CSH. I take on a little name, I write there cash journal. Then uh, I move to next ones. They will stop me here. If I see in I should go back and put there cash account. I press here and look for 701 from here, from this source. Because these journals I also use as a reconciling uh, journal. You see it when we're recording stuff. Don't bother yourself much about that for the, for the moment. I take on this option here. And I take on this one here again. The same procedure what we do in the, when we're creating the bank journal. The same thing. And I go to next. I enter yes. And finally I confirm it. Voila. So, so here you go. This is our card journal created. I move again to the next one. Which is the general journal. I press the remember general journal is used in recording all the expenses that happened within an operating period. That's the purpose of the general journal. To those that still have some doubt about that particular journal, however, don't stress yourself. R remain focused and committed to us. You are you are the right place. You meet experts that are going to drill you a lot. They're going to expose so many things from this secret that you do not know about this work to you. So what we just want for you just to subscribe, remain with us, share it with people to come, bring in people to watch and to help them. Remember, our country needs to grow. We have to grow together. What you have share with me, I also share to you what I have as well. So the code for general journal is going to be GEN. For example, I'm, I'm the one choosing this code. You may choose to make yours. I like the full name, a label of name. General journal. And then I go now to next. This one is so free. Just like the purchase and say journal. I go to next twice. Remember, there was only the cast journal that has some small complication. Concerning the explanation about such complications, it is because it's a journal that records a lot of stuff. Don't bother about that even by the way. We'll meet that in future. I'll explain much more detail to you. You will we'll enjoy this together. So I'll go to the last journal with the position journal. Remember, position is like balance sheet. Position is another name for balance sheet. So the code now I'm gonna put there B L J. I choose that. You may choose yet as well. Some people take B L S or take B L A, everything. But please remember that these are stuff that we're giving to you, that we're suggested to you. Whenever you need or you request for a journal, not the names, not the names. That is, this is what we're giving to you and not this one. So when writing whatever year, make sure you can retain it. I leave up name now, right there, balance sheet journal. And I click on next twice. Wow. So that is how you could actually create journal that you use in performing recording in this particular program called Search Salary Accounting 100. Please, if you are done recording, you could just simply close here. You see the way it's closing. You see the way it's closing. I'm actually done. These are my journals here. These are my journals as I've created them. So that I'll be able to use them in the future. I can just close here. Please, if you just love these videos, remember to click on subscribe. Share it with somebody that you know the person with the same knowledge like you. And remember to drop your comment to us. We'll read a comment. We'll get back to you. We should work according to your needs. 
remember we are doing it for free please we are so so committed to assist you excel where in your company we want to assist you uh, procure excellent distinction result in this 2021 HND result is coming up we want to see you uh, be up to standard of the 21st century modern, modern technology we want to make sure that you have what it takes to be part of the, the system remember we know that you may not have a, a, a laptop and uh, you may not also have a software as well the essence of this channel is to help you even with or without the channel the software or the computer to assist our objective is even about those that don't even have computer but they have an android phone please with data of 500 francs simply click this channel follow these tutorials keenly repeatedly and you are going to learn a lot that will help you succeed in the exam even excel in exam more than somebody who had the software who had a computer what we need from you is to simply drop your comment if you have some queries from some questions that i've seen somewhere from lecturers or whatsoever even you as a lecturer drop your comment we'll read it we'll get back to you for us to grow together thank you so much for watching please share the link please drop your comments to us and we'll get back to you until we meet again